Alright, so, you have a new iPod Touch and your jailbroke it, and you're sick of the boring wallpaper that it has on it, and you want a custom one, like this. This is mine. Now, what you have to do to get a custom wallpaper, first, you're going to need a program to access the files on your iPod. I have one called QFTP TA Professional, and you're going to need something to resize the images. I have a Magicon, and it's good program, it's really easy to use. So what you gotta do is once you download a Magicon, you gotta go to options, image transform, and you gotta set these to 320 by 480, because that's the dimensions of the uh, wallpaper on the iPod. And okay. Now what you gotta do is you gotta get a picture you want, yeah any picture you want for your background. And I'm just gonna pick a random one from here. So what you do, you take the picture, drag it onto here, and it shows up on your desktop. Now what you need to do is you need to rename it so it doesn't get overwritten when you make your um, thumbnail. So now to make the thumbnail, you have to go to Options, Image Transform, and set these to 75 to 75, 75 by 75. Hit OK. And you take the same picture, bring it over here. And now, you take this picture, you name it the same thing as the other picture, but after the name, you put dot thumbnail. Okay, and then what you do is you can close out of these. Then you have to go to your uh, program to access the files. Now you gotta log in, and my iPod has to be out of sleep mode, and connect, and it shows up. So you gotta hit this green arrow over here, until you see them. this menu, where applications is up here at the top, and you gotta go to library, and then wallpaper, and this is where all the wallpapers are stored on the iPod. Now what you do is, you take your two here. And you copy them, and you can drag them right into here, and you gotta find them. Here they are. And what you gotta do is, you gotta change, you gotta go to properties of each one, and change the permissions to 755. And I could have done this faster, but I have one hand, so I can't really do any shortcuts. Alright, now you can exit out of this, and then you go to your iPod. I have a custom theme on mine, so it might look different. You go to settings, and you go to uh, general, wallpaper and scroll down and this is the one we just made and it's there nope not that one this one I already have uh, this is the one we just made so you click it and it shows up and you just set it as wallpaper then you hit the home button and then you can just sleep and there's your new wallpaper Feel free to comment me if you have any questions. And that's it. See you later.